Uh, my name is Harry Whitehead. I am an author of prose fiction. I'm also an academic and I teach creative writing and literature here at the University of Leicester. Before that I worked for some 15 years in the film business, um, mostly as a technician or in, in film production um, rather than in the grand heights of being a director or writer. Um, I worked for some years as a first assistant director, the guy who runs the film shoot, and then I ended up as, uh, for the most of my career, as a location manager. Uh, location manager runs the logistics, manages the whole shoot, the kind of how, how things work. He also scouts and finds all the locations where you film. Um, and I did that for, for many years. Um, I worked in pretty much all formats, everything from music videos to television commercials to movies, small and big, um, American and, and British, French movies. Um, in the last few years of my life I was mostly working as a location manager in TV commercials because um, the money's there, you get paid very well indeed, um, and it financed me to pursue my writing. I was writing my first novel and I was pursuing a PhD, so I have four, four, six, eight weeks working on a TV commercial under the most amazing kind of stress and pressure and that would free me up to have a similar amount of time to go and sit in the British Library and research and write. Um, it's one of those, it's an industry that's kind of rich in anecdotes that um, are great after the event, but at the time are mostly exercises in pain, fear and loathing um, because of the kind of stress you're under. A film shoot has to happen and a location manager has to fit a film crew into the real world and that's what, you know, that's pretty tricky, it's a square, square peg in a round hole. Um, there's always the neighbours, you know, cat has always just died the day before and you know, you say you can't go and put that 18k lamp that she promised that you could put in the back garden that was going to light the kitchen for the shoot that day. It's always something like that going on. Um, but I guess some of the highlights were travelling. Um, I worked on this enormous television commercial once. Um, which was shooting in 45 countries and I was UK and the Indian location manager and I spent 17 days um, scouting through all through Rajasthan up to the Thar Desert all the palaces and uh, schools and um, sort of village temples and all kinds of stuff and right up into the Himalayas and into Ladakh um, my highlight ever, I think my greatest scout day, which would never be beaten, was um, watching the sun come up from the highest motorable road in the world at 19,000 feet in Ladakh and photographing the Himalayas and then driving for five hours down this terrifying road and being plonked on an aeroplane straight to Delhi and by lunchtime I was standing in a police box on Chamney Chap, the busiest street in the world, 110 degrees, um, photographing the traffic and the carnage in the traffic going to and fro. So it was a job of extremes and experience and problem, constant problem solving. I think we had to get, for the Ladakh shoot in the Himalayas, we had to get 150 crew from Bombay and all the trucks and technical equipment up to Ladakh, which was seven days drive for a day's filming and then drive them for seven days back. Um, find a military airport, to land some of the other equipment because we couldn't use the ordinary airport when we were um, up in Rajasthan, for instance, you know, paying off the military in order to be able to land a couple of planes, things like that. Um, which I, you know, gave me an awful lot of life experience um, that I am certainly planning to plough into the fiction I continue to write for the rest of my life.